Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster. This one is going to be on how to create fissures or cracks in the ground. Um, and they're going to be sort of animated so you can do it when an object hits another object or something like that. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete our default cube and press space add mesh plane. Uh, we're just going to edit mode, scale that up a bit. And we're going to start modeling in our, our fissures, our cracks. So press control R um, to create an edge loop. Um, create two of them close together and then create a third one in the middle of them um, and that'll be one fissure so I want to create another one here and um, another one next to that quite close together and they all have to have two outer lines and then one line in the middle of them uh, so I have that'll make what like six cracks yep that works six cracks that'll that'll be fine um, so then just scale these outside ones to make it so that the outside is smaller than the inside um, and then grab these inner ones we want to move them probably closer together to create you know that that inner point is quite close um, move say maybe these down move that up move those down scale it up a bit um yep that looks pretty good and we'll just move this point across that one across a bit this goes up this can go this way this can go over here more and there can be one crack down here right Cool, so now we need to add some more edge loops, so go control R and um, say add three edge loops this way, three edge loops this way and just move them around a bit to create your cracking effect however much or little you want you can move two at a time <laughs> save work um, do the same to these ones on this side you can scale them up or down if you feel that that's a good idea Cool, so um, we've got our fissure all worked out, so um, we need to add some more lines for detail now. Um, because of how the effect works, we need more vertices in this. Um, so a quick way to do that is just press Control r scroll up a bit um, until you get a few lines for each of these, and then just do that across all the fissures. So, so there we go down here, another few here, another few there, another few there, a few more here. Scroll up. Click, control R, scroll up, click, and cool. So we've got plenty of vertices now for us to work with within these fissures. Um, then we need to select this center line of all these fissures. So press control, uh, press Alt, Shift, and then right click to grab that center line. And then um, holding down both of those still, select those other lines. So now we have. Oops, make sure nothing else is selected first. Um, Alt, right click, and then shift so you get all of them. So if you move it down, you can see that those are in fact the center lines of all our cracks, and they move down, and it looks pretty good. Um, that middle stuff looks a little screwed. You can fix that by having two lines in each of them, but I'm just doing this as a quick tutorial so you can figure out better and faster ways to do them yourself. Um, cool, so we've got all those points selected, so add a new vertex group. We're going to name it Crack, and um, Make sure you remember that it's all in caps. Well, mine is all in caps because I had caps lock on. And then click assign. You have to make sure you click assign, otherwise it won't assign it. Um, cool. So now that we've done that, we can space add lattice down here. And uh, you want to scale it Shift Z um, across the x and y axis. Doesn't have to be perfectly to the size of your thing. It's better if it's a bit smaller. Um, you'll be adjusting that a bit later. Um, we want the U and the V to be 5 and W to be 4 um, yeah so that that's gonna do what we want it to do then uh, you want to move it down below uh, your plane and you want to select these center points here so select the two of them two further to the bottom and uh, move them down quite a lot 
and uh, so you can sort of then select this one here move it up a bit more and then the one above it move it down a bit more so you sort of you this is how you control how quickly the crack cracks so um if you have all three of these points really close together down the bottom it's pretty much going to crack instantly um, but if you have them smoothed out like how I have they're going to crack a little slower um, just to sort of show off the effect um, but make sure you only move that center line because if you move these outer ones then you're not going to be able to control uh, where the crack is on your um, on your plane because we don't want it to go all the way to the edges because you'll find 90% of the time um, your crack is just going to be in, in a small area of your your larger object. Cool, so now that we've done that um, we need to go back to our plane, add a modifier and add a lattice modifier. Um, the object name is lattice with a capital L and then the vertex group is crack with a capital C, well capital everything um, and you can already see the crack appear. Um, so just by moving, so you would animate your lattice below first, and then you'd go to first frame, for example, um, and then go up to the frame you want it to to go to, and then make it move through the object, and it would create the crack. Um, if you want the crack to be larger or smaller. Um, so if you want it to go all the way to the edges, you just scale up your lattice. Um, if you want it to go it to go really small, you can scale down your lattice. Um, you can do a few other things, like you can move it, make it so it moves sideways and stuff by moving a few of these points. But that's pretty much the effect there. So um, just by moving this lattice up and down, animating it obviously, um, you can create the the cracks animatedly. So yeah, so I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, I will see you again next time.